Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. The head of Russia's FSB security service said that the Russian passenger plane that crashed over the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt on October the 31st was downed by a bomb. Alexander Botnikov told a meeting chaired by Russian President Vladimir Putin that the crash was the result of a terrorist act. Putin has called for assistance from foreign partners in finding and punishing the criminals. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and French President François Hollande met in Paris today. The two men discussed how to fight against Daesh. Hollande has declared a three-month state of emergency following the attacks in Paris on Friday. Daesh has claimed responsibility for the attacks that killed 129 people. Hollande says a global coalition is needed, but his country would defeat terrorism. On Monday, Paris conducted airstrikes in Syria in conjunction with other members of the US-led coalition. Authorities have also carried out raids in France and Belgium and made arrests. The United States has promised to give $259 million to its Southeast Asian allies for maritime security through this financial year and the next. The move comes amidst escalating tensions over the South China Sea, a major transit route that's also rich with natural resources. China's been building artificial islands there from rocks and reefs. It's clashed with neighboring nations as well as the US over the use of the territory in recent months. China, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, the Philippines and Taiwan all make territorial claims to the South China Sea. The new Canadian government has withdrawn a court appeal against the face veil. Former Prime Minister Stephen Harper's government had banned the garment during citizenship ceremonies. When the Supreme Court of Canada overturned that ban, he requested an appeal. But as part of his emphasis on Canada's diversity, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau made dropping the case one of his campaign promises. Thanks for watching. TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.